Hey everybody, welcome back to the Joe Rockstar channel. Round 5 of the Amra Motor City Off-Road Championship Series marked the halfway point of the season. With only 4 races left on the schedule, my body, bike, and video equipment are showing serious signs of wear and abuse. I went down only a few times in this race, and although the sand proved to still be a challenge, mostly in the whoop sections, it would be my Sony action cam that caused me the most heartache this race. Focused on the challenges of the course, I hadn't noticed that the camera was missing until the last lap, and by then, I had had some close calls and one pretty gnarly crash. The six week break over the holidays gave my wounded knee time to heal, but at Christmas and Thanksgiving I ate a lot of things that I shouldn't eat. I slacked off on the diet and exercise, and my body paid the price. After only one and a half laps, I was already feeling the burn. But my fellow racers were showing no signs of slowing down. The location of the Buckeye Hair Scrambles was a motocross track called Arizona Cycle Park. An hour or so southwest of Phoenix, the place was amazing. Now keep in mind, my experience is still quite limited, and what impresses me may not impress you, but I thought this was a really cool venue. Especially for the spectators who would have a bird's eye view of the motocross portion of the race course. My buddy Scott and I made the three hour drive out there the day before the race. I wanted to get there early and get a little practice on the motocross section, However, we were too late. I got registered and received my participation medal. What? Yeah, I guess we could have just gone home and skipped the race since I already had my medal, right? It's strange days we're living in. And speaking of strange, we decided not to camp out this time and opted to spend the night at my friend Mike's house in Scottsdale. Now let me just say that these guys are some real party animals. After a few beers, an old 1979 Phil Donahue interview, with Nobel Prize winner and economist Milton Friedman and some college economic books. It was hard not to partake of the party atmosphere and stay focused on the race. And you know you're in for a great night when one of your buddies takes a swig of his beer and asks, what's your stance on tariffs? And then this one's about tariff policy. Let me see it. <laughs> so. Wait, wait, let so yeah. Hold my beer. <laughs> Even the family dog was hitting it hard and we had to cut her off when she started getting that crazy look in her eyes. Sunday morning came much too early, and I had a serious economics hangover. I wasn't really sure I could handle a race, but we got it together and headed out. Shout out to Rockstar sponsor Michelle Van Werven. He earned his spot on the Fender as a top tier Joe Rockstar Patreon sponsor. I'll do something a little more professional looking once I get new plastic for the bike, but for now, a permanent marker would have to do. As usual, I had a pretty good start. I was battling fourth and fifth place until we came to a huge pileup at a tire matrix, which was oddly placed for a novice course. Now I'm not sure who thought it would be a good idea to throw an enduro cross style matrix at a novice class but it looked like they changed their minds after it became apparent that we may spend the whole hour and a half race just waiting to get through it. After clearing the tire matrix, the whole field of competitors looked more like they were in a parade than a race. We were 
bunched up pretty tight, and it was difficult to find a place to make a pass. I saw an opportunity here, and I went for it, only to get the door slammed in my face. At this point, I'm feeling pretty good about this race. Not great, but pretty good. I was doing okay. I managed to avoid this little accident. But watching the video right now, I can tell you, I'm riding conservatively. must have been delusional because at the time I was thinking I was going pretty fast. And maybe it's not just me. Maybe other riders experience the same thing. Now let me illustrate what I mean with this footage from Open A writer Nick Gabbert who was kind enough to lend me his video. Be sure to check out his YouTube channel. So let's start here where we can see Nick Gabbert with his hair on fire exiting the motocross section for the desert section. Notice how he attacks this short section of single track just before the wash. Now here's yours truly doing the same section. took about twice as much time. So what about the sand? I've been practicing it a lot. It should be faster. While twisting and turning in the sand like that might have made me crash just a few months ago. All my practice that I've been doing lately in the sand seems to have helped. And while not going down in the sand is quite a positive, I'm gonna need to look forward to more than just not crashing when I'm in the sand if I wanna be competitive with guys like this. So here's Nick again. Someone get a fire extinguisher quick, cause this guy's burning. Stay with him for a second while he makes this pass. In reality, I was already getting tired and I was more concerned about finishing the race than winning it. And if you'll pardon the expression, that kind of thinking in a race is a cancer. And 
Now don't get me wrong, there were times when I realized I was just trying to survive and I'd try to snap out of that mindset and get on the throttle, where I could at least. But those times got few and far between, especially once we got into the sand. Now some of you might think I'm just being a little hard on myself, and maybe I am. But that's because I know that I am capable of so much more on this bike. It was apparent when I was practicing the week before. Maybe we could chalk it up to race anxiety or unfamiliarity with the course. But I definitely feel like it's time for me to stop using inexperience as an excuse. I'm sure it's pretty obvious by the tone that I'm slightly disappointed in myself. But what is important here is that to me, I was doing very well. Sure, I wasn't blazing through the course of winning trophies, but I was having a great time and I was happy. It wasn't until the results of the race were posted and I saw that I had finished 17th out of 20 riders that I felt disappointment. Winning was never my motivation for starting this adventure. We all could use a little reminder now and then that winning is not everything. And the greatest part of the adventure is the journey, not the result. I want to thank writers Michelle De Moss and Johnny Wilson for finding my camera and returning it to me. Nick Gabbert for his awesome onboard camera footage. I'd also like to thank my friends Scott Hernstrom and Mike Dunn for all the production support. Lou Serrano for providing a trailer and generator to help me through the rest of the race season. And of course, all the Rockstar supporters who provide private sponsorship. And finally, I want to thank you, the viewers, for helping me grow this channel by sharing, liking, subscribing, and commenting on the videos. I will be starting an accompaniment to this race series where I will be focusing on other novice riders out there. Pros get a lot of coverage, but it's the amateur novice class riders that intrigue me the most. These weekend warriors race with no opportunity for financial reward. They spend their fortunes and risk serious injury. We all know my motivations, but what's theirs? So keep an eye out, and if you race this series and would like to be featured in one of my videos, message me. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.